Anthropic just dropped Claude Sonnet 4.5, and this release has been blowing up across dev circles for a reason. We're talking about an AI that coded for more than 30 hours straight without losing focus. That's not a hype line from a blog. It actually built a full app, end-to-end, -end, database setup, security checks, the whole thing. Earlier Claude versions would lose steam after about seven hours. This one just kept pushing like a developer locked into flow state. And the difference is showing everywhere from benchmarks to real enterprise workflows. On SWE Bench Verified, the benchmark everybody watches for coding, it's now at state of the art. On OS World, which measures how well an AI can literally operate a computer, it jumped to 61.4% four months ago. The previous model was at 42. That kind of leap doesn't happen often, and when you see it using a browser, filling in spreadsheets, or navigating through VS Code, it looks almost unnervingly human. Now, Anthropic backed up the launch with case studies they say came from early customer use. According to their data, the AI development platform Cognition measured an 18% boost in code planning and a 12% improvement in end-to-end -end results compared to Claude 3.6. In finance, they claimed Sonnet 4.5 delivered insights strong enough to be called investment grade during complex screening tasks. And in security, Anthropic reported that vulnerability triage time dropped by 44% while accuracy still improved. These are Anthropic's own published numbers, but if they hold up in broader testing, they point to very real efficiency gains for teams running heavy workloads. Also, they backed the model with a flood of product updates. Claude Code now has checkpoints, which means you can roll back instantly to earlier versions of a project instead of losing hours of work. The terminal was redesigned for smoother workflows. A native VS Code extension shipped with the launch, so Sonnet fits naturally into the editor most developers live in. The Claude API added a memory system and context editing, making it possible for agents to run longer, more complex sessions without breaking continuity. Inside the Claude apps, you can now run code, generate spreadsheets, or spin up documents directly in chat. And the Claude for Chrome extension takes those abilities into the browser, letting it navigate, pull data, and automate online tasks. Now the highlight for developers is the new Claude Agent SDK. For the first time, Anthropic opened up the same infrastructure they use internally for Claude code. That means managed virtual machines, memory modules, and APIs for context and editing are now in the hands of anyone who wants to build their own agents. You can spin up systems that run scripts for hours, remember history across sessions, and even coordinate sub-agents under permission controls. Anthropic actually spent more than six months refining memory management for long tasks, designing frameworks that balance autonomy with user oversight, and working out how multiple agents can cooperate towards shared goals. Now, all of that work is packaged into the SDK. For teams experimenting with agents, this release is like being handed the blueprints to Anthropic's own engine. Pricing hasn't changed though. Input tokens cost $3 per million and output tokens $15 per million. Every paid Claude plan now includes code execution and file creation. GitHub confirmed Sonnet 4.5 is live inside Copilot for pro enterprise and business customers. You can select it directly inside VS Code, github.com or through the CLI. Microsoft is bringing it into Office 365 Copilot with new agent modes arriving in Excel and Word. So obviously this model isn't trapped inside Anthropic's apps anymore. It's being deployed inside the most widely used developer and productivity platforms on the planet. All right, the year's almost over, less than 100 days left in 2025. And if you haven't picked up new skills yet, this is the time. I leveled up fast by learning the one thing everyone's chasing right now, AI. Tech giants know it. Microsoft is pulling talent from DeepMind. Meta is poaching AI engineers from OpenAI. And the demand isn't slowing down. And this is where Outskill comes in. They're sponsoring today's video and bringing you a two-day AI mastermind workshop happening this weekend from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. EST. People who've taken part are seeing real results. Careers boosted, businesses launched, and new revenue streams created worth several thousand dollars. Normally, this training costs $395, but because of my partnership with Outskill, you get one of a thousand free seats if you grab it in the next 48 hours. 
This isn't theory, it's practical, hands-on training. Across two days, you'll explore AI tools, automation workflows, and the process of building your own AI agents. On top of that, you'll unlock exclusive bonuses, including a prompt Bible, a monetization roadmap, and a personalized toolkit builder designed to accelerate your progress. Seats are limited, so grab your spot through the link in the description. Okay, now back to Sonnet 4.5. Safety and alignment were a huge part of the launch story. Sonnet 4.5 is described as the most aligned frontier model Anthropic has ever built. It ships under their AI Safety Level 3 framework, which pairs high capability with strict safeguards. That includes advanced filters for chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear content, plus reinforced defenses against prompt injection attacks. Internal audits showed significant drops in behaviors like deception, sycophancy, and power seeking. False positive content flags, which can disrupt normal work, have been cut by a factor of 10 compared to Opus 4, and by half again since May this year. For the first time, Anthropic also used mechanistic interpretability tools to analyze how the model reasons internally, showing they're digging deeper into alignment than before. Now, alongside the main launch, Anthropic released a short-lived research preview called Imagine with Claude. For five days, Mac subscribers had access to it. The demo showed Sonnet 4.5 generating software in real time with no pre-written functions. Everything happened live, adapting to user input as the session continued. Essentially, it was framed as a fun experiment, but really it served as a showcase of what happens when a powerful model is paired with infrastructure designed for flexibility. But the performance details reveal how much work went into this release. On SWE Bench Verified, Anthropic reported 77.2% using a scaffold with two tools, bash and file editing through string replacements. Results were averaged across 10 trials with a 200,000 token reasoning budget. With a 1 million token context, Sonnet 4.5 reached 78.2%, though Anthropic highlighted the lower number due to inference stability. Under higher compute settings, where multiple attempts were sampled and broken patches rejected, Sonnet 4.5 pushed as high as 82%. On Terminal Bench, it ran on the Terminus 2 framework with scores averaged across multiple days. On Tau 2 Bench, Anthropic added prompt adjustments to fix known weak points. On AIME, the model used 64,000 reasoning tokens in Python and sampled at temperature 1. On OSWorld Verified, it averaged across four runs, capped at 100 steps. On MM, MLU, it was tested across 14 non-English languages with extended reasoning up to 128,000 tokens. Finance agent scores came directly from the VALS AI leaderboard, with Sonnet 4.5 running extended and interleaved thinking up to 64,000 tokens. Comparative figures for GPT-5, Gemini, and Grok were drawn from their system cards and public leaderboards. The competition is obviously fierce. GPT-5, Gemini Ultra, and Grok 4 are all pushing into the same space. GPT-5 has been reported at 77.2% on developer exams, Gemini has posted strong math and logic scores, and Grok is marketed directly at technical problem solving. OpenAI still powers Copilot on cheaper tiers, and ChatGPT's advanced code interpreter benchmarks show back and forth wins, but none of these rivals have demonstrated a 30-hour autonomous coding run in public. That's the edge Anthropic is leaning on with Sonnet 4.5. Now, industry reactions underline the impact. Cursor.ai CEO Michael Truel called it state of the art for long horizon coding tasks. Windsurf's Jeff Wang described it as a new generation of coding models. GitHub's Copilot team said it strengthens Copilot's reasoning over multi step workflows. Anthropic's chief science officer, Jared Kaplan, described the experience of watching Claude use a computer like a human as surreal. Outlets like VentureBeat and ZDNet crowned it the new coding leader, and Anthropic revealed that Claude Code is already generating more than $500 million in annual recurring revenue, a number driven mostly by coding workloads and one that will only grow with this release. Of course, running a model for 30 hours isn't cheap. Subtle bugs can still slip past human reviewers. Safety frameworks that work in audits have to hold up under enterprise load, and competitors like OpenAI and Google aren't standing still. But even with those caveats, Sonnet 4.5 is a milestone. 
For the first time, an AI has been shown working through entire projects over days without breaking focus, and the fact that it's already integrated into GitHub, Office, Chrome, and Anthropic's own apps makes it impossible to ignore. Claude Sonnet 4.5 is available everywhere right now. Same pricing, wider integrations, new SDK, stronger safety and endurance that nobody else has shown. For developers, enterprises, and anyone building with AI, this is the closest thing yet to an AI colleague that can carry the workload as long as you need it to. But do you actually trust an AI to code for 30 hours straight without messing something up, or is that still a step too far for you? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.